What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews. Well, I just got in the new Makita Bluetooth radio. This is the Adventure Series. Got that cool like olive green look to it. And if you've seen this in my previous videos, this is my older Makita. It's the BMR100. And while they do look very, very similar, if you look at them from the front, you know, even the side, they've got a very similar form factor. Uh, but in true Makita fashion, they, of course, they keep perfecting that as we get to the latest version. Now, they've made a few versions of these over the years, but, you know, they keep pushing on as they make one, I think like every couple of years, they make a new version of these. And the old one I've got here does not have Bluetooth. I did do a previous video on how to add Bluetooth to this, so if you want to check that out, check to the channel. You can find that pretty easily. Very easy to add Bluetooth to these. Now, I didn't pay for either one of these. This was actually a dumpster find, and this one was given to me by Makita. So we'll start with the older BMR 100. You know, if we compare these side by side, they're almost indistinguishable. Now, of course, you know, color differences, that's gonna be the big thing there. Uh, but of course, they have slightly different latches here to get into the battery packs. Um, they do have, you know, very similar side lines where that cover is there. Um, they added some, you know, some bracing here in the handles to make it a little bit stronger. Uh, but overall, you know, the handles are very, very similar. Um, they have almost the same exact grips on them as well, too. And, you know, the antenna, I like how they improved the antenna design. Notice how they put the antenna a little bit under the handle here. And they put a little, you know, a little place you can get your fingers in to pull that antenna out. Whereas this one kind of just sticks up. And, you know, there was a uh, rubber overmold on that, but that actually came off with probably years of sun damage. Um, they did, you know, change up the speaker a little bit. It looks like the same exact driver to me, same exact size, no real difference there. Uh, but they added a nice kind of, I think this is either aluminum or something with a coated plastic here. A little bit tougher looking. Um, definitely, you know, a little bit more heavy duty. Um, same thing with, you know, a lot of the sides here. Um, it's the same kind of rubber overmolding on both, but of course they changed the design up a little bit. I do like the design of the newer Makita. Looks very, very cool. So moving on to the back, there is not a huge difference back here. Um, the newer one, I forgot to say the model number, is the ADR-M06. Um, so it, the Adventure Series, you know, it's going to be a different color, but you can still buy this in the regular teal. Might be available in white too, I haven't checked, but it's probably available in other colors. That's pretty common for Makita to have these available in lots of other colors. Um, so the build date on the BMR100... It doesn't have a build date on there, which is interesting. They usually have those build dates. Um, the ADR-MO has a 2022-05 build date. Now, there's a big difference in these that I noticed right away, which is pretty cool. So they both have battery operation. They both have, you know, you can plug them into the wall, which is nice. However, though, the newer one accepts three different battery types, which is very cool. So if you've got the old stick pack batteries, you can use those, whereas you can still use those on the older one, which is nice. Um, however, though, you can also use CXT batteries, which is very, very cool on the newer one. So I've got, you know, CXT batteries laying around. Not really a line I use a ton, um, but I've got the batteries. They're nice and lightweight and small, so they keep this radio nice and light, lightweight, easy to move around. It's absolutely fantastic. I love that they include that in the newer model. Now, of course, you know, I like how they have a little bit of rubber overmolding on this uh, upper handle here, so relatively easy to snap down. Uh, kind of the same thing goes with this one, although it is not as um, kind of sleek or compact as the newer model, as this just sticks up on top here. The operation of both of these is pretty much identical, not a huge difference. I like how they have the blue. They do actually add the blue lighting kind of around the volume and tuner knob here, which is really nice. Now on the bottom here, we do have some changes. This is going to be a auxiliary in like 3.5 jack, 3.5 millimeter. Here's your power, which is kind of annoying that that's in the front. However, though, on the front of this one, you've got the same auxiliary jack with 3.5 millimeter and a USB power out, which is nice to have. So if you want to charge up your phone while you're playing Bluetooth, that's totally possible. So as you can see, they're about the same brightness. These are not backlit at all. Um, it's backlit on the newer Makita, which is nice. So definitely easier to read. And I do like how they change the design of this. It looks really tough, really cool now on the newer Makita. Um, but you know, they have more rubber overmolding on the older one, which is interesting. It's definitely got a thicker 
kind of chunkier look to the front of this one, whereas you have the Makita logo right up here on top, and this is just the regular plastic. Now these, of course, are very durable. Um, I looked it up, they're actually I yep, looking up IP64 rated. Sorry, not IP56, it's IP64. So that is an excellent rating for these. Pretty much waterproof at that point. Um, very, very cool. It's not, you know, don't dunk it under in a pool, but it's going to be basically rainproof, no problem there. So excellent rating on these. As you can see, they had that sealed gasket in that battery compartment, which is really, really nice to have. Uh, Bluetooth is easy to connect as well, too. Nothing crazy there. Um, on the newer model, they moved that power, that power uh, connector to the side here. So I wish they kind of had it on the back, but you know, that's the best they can do there is put it on the side. Now, is it worth the upgrade? I think it is actually. Um, I do like the design a lot of these. The only downside in my opinion is the audio quality is just kind of okay. I do like my DeWalt sound, my DeWalt speakers, they do sound a bit better than this. And of course they're quite a bit smaller. Um, definitely, you know, they lack the compactness of a lot of the competitors, whereas they do make up for that um, when it comes to just overall durability. I think these will definitely hold up a lot better than the other ones that I have that lack any IP rating as well. But these have been overall super durable in my opinion. Um, they have not let me down at all. And this thing was basically, when I got this thing, it was raining out. This thing was totally wet. Um, and I have no idea what this thing went through in its life, but it works totally phenomenal. You can see you know, the screen's got a crack in it, but absolutely works fine so far. Never had a single issue with it up to this point. So I love it and it works off battery, no problem. But like I was saying before, only downside is gonna be the audio quality. Where I set mine, it's definitely a disadvantage because I kind of can block this side speaker on the right side where I set it in my uh, kind of tool bench there. So, you know, I wish there was a front mounted speaker or even an up mounted speaker on this would be nice. Um, it's hard to, you know, position this in a garage nicely where you're gonna have a nice forward facing audio. That's kind of the big downside to these. Um, is that they're designed more to kind of put in the middle of maybe an open house that's under construction. They'll sound great then. And they kind of go for that 360 degree sound. They're not designed for just forward sound. So unfortunately that's the big downside to these. But overall for the price, you know, they're pretty good. I think they're actually a phenomenally built uh, speaker, just, you know, not necessarily the direction you might want to go if you're looking for a just forward sounding speaker that's gonna be super loud. Now guys, I'll include the link to buy this in the description below if you wanna check it out. And uh, thanks for watching guys, take care, have a great day.